myself and it's not just on stage but even off stage because every day we go live because life is like an open book that people read us and every step that we take is going to be a misstep there's going to be a critic especially on your way to the top more eyes are on you and each turn that you take there's going to be a setup but when you set yourself to the one who's up there every setup is a setback for a comeback and i came back to tell you that we just survived this pandemic that has caused panic into our academic and then therefore it hit our career, therefore we need to shift gear into this motion. This COVID-19 has taught us not to COVID anything because life is temporary, our health is wealth. But why do we use so much of our health just to chase after wealth when in the end we use back all our wealth just to get back to our health? But in reality, it was not so much of the COVID virus that hit us, but it was the go-away virus, the virus of racism and discrimination, that our race has been the subject of disgrace. Therefore, our race, we need to raise our voice and to fight for what is right. But while we fight for what is just, for them, it's just like that, because justice has been justified. They therefore they try to justify, and therefore they should know a justice lies. Who will adjust to these lies because I just decide, therefore they have to just decide when justice has been justified. This intensity is heightening, tensions are rising. When we look to our generation, we're looking for a leader who's uprising. But all this flex culture, this culture, vulture, like a vulture that's eaten our brain, therefore we begin to think with our eyes. And we became like a cult that worship the things that's in the media. All this fake culture has brought fake identity into our society like makeup, like Maybelline, like made up, like make believe. That's why it's so fake to me. And all this flexing, flexing of the things that we don't even own, showing of the things in the media that we don't even own. All this flex culture has destroyed our culture. When our culture shouts for freedom, our generation is so relaxed, just like we're in a spa. Little did we know that we're going to be massaged to death by our own pleasure. And we claim for independent, but we can't be dependent on. We talk about responsibility, but our ability to respond is gone. Because somewhere along the line, we are these Israelites going through the wilderness. Because God knows when He gives us this freedom, we're going to be so dumb and free that God looks down from above and He knows that the misuse and use of freedom is worse than no freedom at all. Because when He gives us freedom to these Naga people, we're just going to misuse this freedom because we ain't ready for freedom. Always remember our people, especially Tangkul people, we fight for a cause. But instead of fighting for a cause, we start causing for a fight and cause division in our own land. This division has divided our vision and caused subtraction into our own passion. And therefore, we lost our own passion to make Naga as a one nation. Remember our headhunting days and the gospel came and changed us. But little did we know that the headhunting nature is still in us That every fight for leadership Instead of backing up and supporting one leader We fight for leadership, we fight for position We cut everybody's head just to be the head Does that not remind you of our headhunting days? Maybe slowly we're going back to the gospel Because we don't live the gospel anymore Our generation We can be better than our forefather and our father's generation that every part of the body is vital, not just the head. If we ought to be, we be the back so that we can back up one another. Each and every one of you, we have different skill. Don't kill your skill, but use your skill to pay the bills and you become like Bill Gates, being the gateway of all the lesson opportunity. And that's great! You see, but you and I, we have achieved nothing yet. Yet we're so proud. Our generation, we better wake up. We need transformation like Transformer, like Optimus Prime, that in a prime we need to optimize everything and be optimist. But so far we're doing nothing yet because of all this flex culture. It's high time for a boy to turn into a man, high time for a girl to turn into a woman because a nation needs a man and a woman, not a girl and a boy. A boy focuses on what brand he wears, a man focuses on making his name an own brand. There is nothing sexier than a man with brains. Back it up with talent, with hard work, spice it up with humor and manners, and lead it up with financial stability and ability to be able to be stable not just in money but even in love. That's what a man needs. And in the end, that stability is the ability to step back all those haters who does not believe in you with your own success. Because if there's one thing you want to flex, flex your own hard work and success because ain't nobody ever going to take that away from you. Now shout out to the ladies out there, the most prized possession of God's creation. But sometimes it's so sad that the world defines what beauty ought to be and what beauty ought not to be. 
that some ladies find approval in men and other things. The real meaning of beauty is in the word itself. When you slow it down, I say slow B U T down. One more time, slow B U T. So be you, and that's who you are. And the T stands for the cross because only in Christ you find your approval. But ladies, you are more than just beauty. You transcend beauty. You are a fighter. You are a warrior. You are strong. How do I know that? Ain't nobody grinds better than my mother. Ain't nobody fights better than my mother. She's the reason why I'm here today. You have been fighting for equality and for women empowerment. Now this equality has brought quality into our society and this empowerment has not only empowered women, but this empowerment has empowered men like us. Therefore, you belong up there because you have raised the bar so high that we no longer look down or even look front, we look above. And my only prayer, ladies, is don't ever come down and make yourself so cheap. Don't ever make yourself so worthless because you belong up there. You know what you deserve. You don't deserve to be on hold. You deserve to be hold on and to be embraced and not to be disgraced. You don't deserve to be an option but to be in our devotion. Not to be played but to be prayed. Not to be an object of lust but a subject of must. Let men earn you and learn you. Go straight to your heart, not through your body. Let men learn you like a subject that is so hard to get but when once we get, we will never forget. Let men earn you like a money that will find value in it that the first time we earn money, we find the value because there's so much hard work. Let men and each and every one of us, let we learn you like a subject and not treat you like an object. Let we earn you like a value and not lure you. You deserve to be preserved, therefore stay reserved. Do not reverse it and be perverse and adverse. You deserve to be served. And in the end, as I wind up this, I'm going to say life is short. And life is unpredictable. Anything can happen anytime in life. There are ups and there are downs. But sometimes life will treat you so unfair. Because sometimes life will aim at you like a sniper with that cross scroll. And sometimes that scope will hit you with a kill shot and aim you with a headshot. Just like 19 year old me and my girl that happened. RIP to her. Condolence to her family. And fighting for the nation. But bravery to that Myanmar girl, 19 year old, her name is Angel, who stood up for her country. And she taught me that standing up for a country is not a matter of age, but it's a matter of rage. Because this justice anger needs to be settled. And she has taught me so much. Like I see, she left a legacy for the world to see. That this man who scoped her can't even see because he's on ecstasy. What is this military supremacy? What kind of democracy that everyone must see? And as I end up, I want to say what Gandhi says, see no evil, hate no evil, think no evil. But this word is full of evil because when you spell evil backwards, it's life. And all of these come to me and say, we should fight for our territory because unless we fight for our territory, if we don't fight for the things that we want, for the things that we do not want, we'll always win. And sometimes it questions me all this, that how many days till we leave this place and will our memories be erased? If our memories be erased, do we leave anything for these youngsters to be traced? Or are we a disgrace? If we are a disgrace, let's look to God's grace. Because life is a race and our race, we need to raise more in order to raise the bar that will take it so far from our indigenous culture to our genius culture one day. God is real. Whoa!